Can you put the rest of these together? The rest are one. Oh, one. <laughs> They're actually real easy. What's going on, guys? I'm Steve. This is my wife, Jamie. And uh, we're going to put some crab traps out there and try to catch some stone crabs. I'll show these guys how these go together. They're pretty simple. So what this is right here, guys, this little piece of pine, you can see there's slats in this. Well, this basically is the same width as this slat here, but this will rot away. So for example, if a boat hits our buoy and we lose the trap for whatever reason and we can't find it, well, rather than having everything trapped inside, this will rot away fall off, uh, deteriorate, and then the crabs and whatnot can come and go as they please. Just pre-drill these, because that will crack if you don't. So any place we have to uh, drill, if it doesn't already have a hole in it, then we pre-drill it. And of course, a good quality stainless steel screw, because obviously they won't last a day in salt water. You know which is the top because the or the bottom because this is where the concrete goes and those are what hold the concrete in place. You see, so they go like this. They just slot right together like that, like this. Now the top, it's like this. And now you've got hinges. These hinges are already pre-drilled on one side, but the screw goes on this side. So you got to kind of get it started, get it opened, and boom. And then it'll go right flush with that part of the, the hinge. That drops down in here. And what that allows the crab to get in but then when he tries to climb back up the sides, he can come back up the sides. He can climb across. If this wasn't in here, he could just climb right out at will. So basically, they hit the side and they, they are able to get out at that point. So now, we want to put our locking mechanisms on here. Perfect. Let's head outside. Okay, so I just brought the traps out here, put a little piece of plastic down. Anybody can get one of these things. I have quite literally mixed thousands of bags of concrete and quickcrete and different types of things. So obviously that's a pretty heavy duty drill. And this is just a drywall mud mixer, but I have worn these things down till there was almost nothing left mixing concrete. It does a great job. All right. So the whole process requires about, that's 120 pounds of concrete, okay? So it's better to have not enough water you can always add to it. You can't take it away. I'll start with about half a bag. All right, that should do it. All right, I'll finish these off. Thanks, Ben. So, do you like Dad's artwork? It's beautiful. 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 You know what R stands for? Really bad job cutting an R out of there. It looks neat. Well, 
anyway so you got to have an r on there for recreational and obviously you want to like i use brown paint because that's what we had but you want to be able to tell your crab traps so first of all somebody else doesn't pull them accidentally thinking they're theirs so i may get a little more creative with it but i doubt it not this time so can you help me i want to show these guys how we're tying these on there all right we're gonna do this one first yeah all right well first guys if you look here you get a weight for every one of your ropes okay i put that on then i melted it so what i like to do is i put about seven feet i just take my hammer smash it down that looks so fun. see that looks fun <laughs> you can do the next one okay so now that's good and snug now we want to put a like an overhand knot in there like that we'll grab our buoy and make sure the r is facing up we'll run that through drop it down here okay so this is what our knot is going to look like before we cinch it so the way i did that is pretty simple you make a loop come around your main line there through the hole like that then come back through and go through itself so basically you're making like a pretzel pull it like that now i'm gonna leave a little bit sticking out here's the reason i'm a zip tie kind of guy so basically i'm gonna take a zip tie that rhymed did it rhyme yeah you poet and i didn't even know it <laughs> i'm just basically gonna zip tie this just for a fail safe you know guys i don't want to lose my stuff oh We'll put that on there. Now I can slide that whole thing right down inside. Something like that. And now we never tightened this down. So I'll bring it all the way down to the bottom of the buoy. Tighten it up. And there we go. Okay. Let's make a bowling knot. Like that now as we pull this you can see it just gets tighter and tighter again with the zip ties just for my own comfort There we go. It should never come loose. All right, we finish these up, baby girl. We gotta get all that bait in the cooler if you wanna go grab that out of the fridge. I bet not many people put their crab traps out in the dark. Here we go. Looks like it's pretty close. Quicker! It's going to storm. It's coming, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, this spot is marked. Down we go, baby girl. This is crazy guys, we're out here, it's Christmas day, and uh, we set our traps, 
our crab traps out here. Two of them are missing. And this one was stuck in the mud. We had some really bad wind. And so I don't know if they got stolen, but this trap is like half a mile from where I set it. Unless somebody tried to take them, I don't know. And this one was stuck in the mud. It was everything I could do to get it out. But look at this, guys. Steven, come here, oh, Kayla. Find some big boys. You ain't kidding, man. But oh, I don't understand small. how they ended up so far away. Holy crap! All right. That's a big stuff. That's a keeper. Oh. I don't know how it is. So you measure. That thing is huge. Look at that, mom. Ho ho! Ho ho! Holy cow, that's gigantuan! Look at how pretty that one is. All right, oh, so. Nice. So you measure from the hinge right here to there. So definitely a keeper. Now that right here, guys, is an absolute beast. That is awesome. Is that a little, little guy? These won't hurt you. What, what are those? those are, so that, ow, ow, ow. that is a crazy look. That is you know so what? Sick. Usually they're very docile, but I think those crabs are uh, got them angry. That is sick. Dad, there's two. Oh, uh, Oh my God. Calico, cool. calico crab. Usually you can hold them and they don't do anything, but I think they're scared. There's another one. In here. here, all right. So I'm gonna show you one way you can get the claws off here. Like that. Nice. Can I hold them? All right. So now we'll set that aside. Just be careful, because it's still, it's still the possibility that it could get you. Yeah, Look at he's got my knife. <laughs> <laughs> so what are my guy, pennies? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Mr. Krabs. Look at this guy is too small. So go grow. He's probably lost this one in a fight before. See how much the coolest smaller part it is. is yeah. You throw them back, they regrow them, you catch yeah, them again, it's you just a keep using them. Renewable resource. I sure wish we could find our other two traps. Oh, look, he's got my thumb right here. <laughs> look at between, not even in his claw, just right here between. Yeah. They're so powerful. Okay, here you go, baby girl. You got to hold a, it with some force. That is a Don't big get your finger in between bar. there. There you go. Usually these calicos are so docile, like this guy. Aren't they cool? I love that. That is the coolest crab I think I've ever seen. What are they called? Calico. Ow. That is so freaking cool. Yeah, just cool. be careful because he's yeah. got pincher, pinchers. Yeah, right. Don't drop careful. him from very far. Just set him in there and I'll get the claws off him. I say that to everything I have today. Watch out, dog. This crab is so freaking yeah, good. Come here, buddy. Okay, there we go. No, no. I feel bad, though. We lost our... <laughs> we lost our... Uh, we lost three traps now. Oh, you can use, okay, so it's both claws. I thought it was just. Well, you're allowed to keep both now. They found out that they will uh, go hide in the mud more so. If they still have one claw, they feel like they can fight and then they get to get killed by crabs with both. two claws. There he goes. Go regrow him back. Can I let him go? Yeah. Look, he's still just about this defenseless. Look at the size of that thing, man. Mama, can you take a picture of him? That is a big, let me see that. That is crazy. You know what's crazy is we're doing this on Christmas. <laughs> and Brandon caught his PB yesterday. Yeah. That is actually, that's a lot of people. You aren't kidding, buddy. I'm jealous. All right, let him go, sweetie. Crab is so freaking good. Can I pull the next one? Uh, it's probably stuck in the mud, honey. That's why it's still here. The other if one's got stolen. If it's not, then can I? Yeah. That storm, can't believe it buried these. Yeah. Oh, full of sand, honey. Let's shoot the sand out. 
There's a big, big stone crab, guys. Oh my gosh, it weighs a ton. Whoo! All right, watch your fingers, honey. Big sucker. Look. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's another crab. <clears throat> No need to measure that one. Those are uh, some nice claws. You up. aren't kidding, man. Oh, you're bleeding. You got All right, you got that checker? Is it in that other trap? I might have left it in the other trap, honey. Kayla, can you put that in the uh, bucket? Oh, yeah. no, getting Kayla to touch it. I like it. I don't see it. Watch out. Wait, I got to get a picture for your mama. Yeah, you gotta send that to your mom. That is ours. Every time I send it to, to Brian, Brian's drooling. Nice, Al. Guys, this is crazy. We are 0.77 miles away from where we set this trap. And we just found another one of our traps. This trap weighs 20 something pounds. They still have the zip ties on them. One little guy. They're ours, Steve hmm? Vanderlone. They're ours. But has anybody ever seen anything like that? And then there's probably How in the world do they move three quarters of a mile? Okay, set the knife down, honey. Okay, he can go back. Good job, baby. That's it, it's brown. Yeah, that's ours. 0.94 miles from where we set these traps. Almost a mile away, man. Nope, there's some in there. Ooh, a couple of close ones. He can go back. Oh. Ooh, honey, don't get pinched. Grab him he right here by this last, like this. Oh. All right, Stephen, grab that checker. This guy is gonna be close. So from this little hinge, that little thing right there. Okay, he's just, look at that. Look at how short. All right, go grow, buddy. This has gotta be a keeper. Yep. Yep. Keep it here. Jump, buddy. Come, here, bud. He's good. He's good. Come on, Mr. Seasick. You can do it. Come here. Uh -oh, what's cool? My son and Kayla bought us a dog that gets seasick. Now, there's just something wrong with that. <laughs> there's no return policy. No, there is no return policy. Get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it, T. Go get it, T. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Get it. Get it. Get it. He's like, look at him. Look at him. He's caught in the current. Yeah, that current is Good job, buddy. Oh my gosh, he's gone. Look at how skinny he is. Dude, you're a rat. Come here. Back in the kitchen. I'm going to boil these. Got a lot of salt. One recipe said three quarts of water and a half a cup of salt, which I never remember using that much. But okay, let's bring this to a boil. Look at the size of that. Awesome. A lot of people eat them cold. I like them cold. And that's probably what we're gonna do. It's just important that as soon as you get back, get them steamed up. And I think it's better for the meat to be cooked right away. All right, we got the water boiling. Don't splash yourself. Okay. So basically you wanna wait 
until it starts to boil real good again and then go for six minutes. Oh. You can eat them hot and you can eat them cold. We got family stuff to do so I'm just going to put them in the refrigerator and, uh, and we're going to eat them a little later. I can't wait. Matter of fact, forget the family stuff. Let's just eat the crabs. No, we got family stuff to do. Okay. Ten more seconds, baby. It is kind of hard to ignore that smell. Okay. Off the heat. Some big, big claws, aren't they, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> so I told you, isn't that crazy that that storm moved our crab traps, two of them a half a mile, yeah, and they great. were right next to each other, and then the other two went almost a full mile. I can't believe you moved them that far. They moved uh, that's that insane. Far. All right, I'm going to pour this out. So Brandon caught his PB bass. You yeah. made it, making a video out of it, I yeah, hope. It's coming out Monday. Pristine fishing. Yep. Make sure you guys check it out. Yeah, definitely check that out. All right. I'm just going to put them in back in here. Oh, my word. And that's just the little bit of juices that came out of the broken claw where it broke this is the best meat I mean it's as good it's probably better than lobster in my opinion what's crazy guys is I'm looking at a site here you can you can order and have claws shipped to you and uh, I'm looking at it here this one says Compare our prices. Competitors price $49.95 a pound. And then uh, their price is $35.99 a pound. Which is crazy because if you think about it, if you have two pounds of crabs, claws, one pound of meat, one pound of shell. is pretty much what it works out to be. Which is kind of crazy. Alright. We're going to chill these off. We'll see in a little bit. Throw some butter in this bowl right here. You ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the meat is obviously inside these joints and obviously inside of here. So we need to access that. So you take the back end of the knife. You don't want to hit it too hard and get a bunch of little pieces of shell. You know, this will at least help you get it open. Let's do it over the sink. Same thing, just smack it right in the middle. See it shattered all the way down. What do you think? It's delicious. Isn't that amazing? Yum. That is so over the top.
fish in the mouth so I can catch more bait, so I can fillet the fish, fill up the track, and catch some more of these. Yum. Anyways, guys, that's what we got. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hope everybody had great holidays. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to see you in the next one because we are out.